Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the LG G2 here. We're uh, moving on with some different guides, and I want to show you quick remote. Uh, there is an IR remote uh, blaster on the uh, phone, so uh, you can use it as a remote control for your home theater or for different rooms in your house, for different TVs, your bedroom, your living room, wherever. And uh, you can get to it um, by going right here uh, at the quick remote. Uh, option, or you can also um, go go to it from your uh, application drawer, and uh, there it is. <laughs> My uh, display is turned down for the video purposes. Sometimes I don't see it right. Um, so this is what you'll see at the beginning, and you want to add a remote because right now I have nothing. And you can also set for different rooms: living room, bedroom, kitchen then office so that makes it convenient so go ahead and hit the plus key um, and basically go through that and then you can add various things here um, you can even add a universal remote so let's just say you want to add a TV you can go in and add it uh, you can go in and add from various manufacturers so we'll just say Panasonic right now as that's what I have now they're not going to ask you for a model number. You're just going to basically hit the power button and say if it works or not. And um, we'll go ahead and hit yes that it worked. I don't, I'm not really using it right now for any, but this does work well. Uh, the mute, uh, the same thing. Go ahead and touch it. Make sure that it works. And then input. Make sure that it works. If it works, all three, then you're good to go. And now I have the remote control set up for TV. Now I can, uh, and you can see there's different tabs. There's TV one. I can actually set up a second TV if I have a second TV in the room. Uh, so now I can go in and say cable box and or satellite. And I can say direct TV, go into it and go through the same motions again. And we'll just hit yes. Uh, it may take a couple times for each one. And you just go through the process and now you have uh, the cable box and a TV on the same uh, in different tabs and again you can go in and go into the bedroom or whatever and add the TV in your bedroom and stuff now what's also pretty cool um, is the remote will show up in the notification panel as well um, but what you can do is uh, we'll go into the back into the remote and you can go in here in the settings and you can say um, you can say uh, auto display at home quick remote is displayed automatically on notif notification panel or uh, lock screen as soon as you get home this is a pretty cool feature in order to use this uh, you have to set the Wi-Fi as your home so you go in and uh, just tap on the Wi-Fi that you're currently on You do this when you're home and you're good to go so now hit the back key and I think you should also set up touch sounds or vibrate on touch uh, so you can always go back and change this anytime so now when you go to the lock screen The remote is going to show here so you can quickly access things and you can also switch between devices and let's just say I'm going to open this up and um, the same goes for your notification panel you can quickly while you're using your phone do these things now you can also go in here and hit the settings here and you can change the order if you want the cable box to be first you know if you have a bunch of devices and you can even um, you can even uh, check off if you don't want say the TV to show on there you just want the cable box and whatever so um, that's pretty cool just by tapping that button so um, it works pretty cool uh, you're not going to get guide information on it so it's just a simple remote it works uh, pretty well um, I would say you really got to be pointing at the device uh, you know it, it's it's not as maybe um, it's a little bit it's pretty sensitive so um, that's what as released is what I found so you got to really make sure you're pointed directly at the device and uh, and, and, and it does work so uh, that's quick remote on the LG2 uh, I hope this helped uh, give it a shot and uh, let us know thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android